craft store, I break my vow to not crack dad jokes during retail transactions because, you know, why make the cashiers listen? Why make the people behind me wait? But today, after walking these unending aisles of glitter paint, macrame yarn, hot glue guns, barbarizing kits, bolas, modeling clay, dried flowers, when I get to the checkout line, the joke just kind of pops out, I guess you don't get too many straight guys in here, do you? The youngest cashier with her Rita name tag and aggressive eyeliner does not laugh. She just scans my markers and says, oh, I don't know about that. There was this guy earlier today. Woo! She fans herself. It was like we spent lifetimes together. The next cashier, Jan, perks up. You mean that Italian guy? Yeah, Rita says. He was solid, totally solid. Jan shakes her head. He wasn't straight, though. I'm the one who rang him up, remember? Yeah, but you missed it, Rita said. When he got out his card and you said, stick it in, he gave me this look. Not like it was funny, you said, stick it in, which I have totally seen gay guys do. But this was more of a hookup look, a let's maybe have a drink later look, you know. <laughs> it seems doubtful to me that Jan knows that look, but I keep quiet because I am in awe of what I have set in motion, what is now completely out of my control. It's like a kite you just decide to let go of so you can watch it soar into the wind. I tell everybody to stick it in, Jan says. Sometimes I even say, stick it in, cowboy. And once we've all stopped laughing, Rita says, oh my God, you are so out of control, which is like the biggest compliment you can get from a millennial. He was a grown man, sweetheart, Jan says. I'm grown, Rita says. Not really, Jan says. You don't know, Rita says. I've had boyfriends older than him. I've had boyfriends bigger than him. Well, you better just watch out, Jan says. You might have been thinking love, but he was thinking the other thing. I don't need a bag, I say, to remind them I'm still here. The customer needing service, perhaps getting bitchy the way we sometimes do when we're forced to wait for any reason. And it's sad, but this is what breaks the spell, this interlude of truth-telling bestowed by the gods, the same gods who dispatch dashing Italians to remind us of life's continued possibilities, the promise that we can still allow passion into our lives, no matter how old we are. What we some, that passion, what we sometimes give up on too soon, all that gone because I've, reverted, I've reverted to my retail stasis of impatient dick. And now there's nothing left for me to do but stick my own thing in, my card that is, without even being told to, except I keep botching it somehow until Rita says, sir, no, sir, strip facing me. And this is the command I did not think I was going to hear today. And as Rita is handing my receipt, I'm expecting at least a final nod or maybe even some lingering eye contact after our big moment together, after what we've just been through together, but no, I am done. I've become invisible. A line is formed behind me. Rita is looking past me and Rita is looking straight through me, and she is holding up her arm and saying those words every lover so dreads hearing, I can help the next customer in line. Thank you.